Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Joanna and today I'm going to guide you through a beautiful vinyasa flow focusing on hamstrings and opening the backs of your legs and your back body. This is more of an intermediate practice, but if you're an improver, by all means, please join me on the mat and remember that child's pose is always there for you and feel free to skip any vinyasas along the way. During practice today, we are going to use a yoga strap. If you don't have a strap, grab a belt or a towel and we are going to use a block. However, if you are an improver, you might benefit from having two blocks during the practice today. Okay, so we're going to get started in a comfortable seated position. So once you're there, pop your hands onto your knees, onto your thighs, roll your shoulders back and down, sit a little bit taller and close your eyes or soften your eye gaze, whichever is more comfortable for you today. Bring your attention inward to your breath. And just notice how your breath feels and where it is in your body. And as always, no judgment, just notice and let it go. And start to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Deepening your breath each time you breathe in all the way down to your belly. And breathe out, relax. Now on your next in-breath, we're going to try and breathe in on a count of four, hold it at the top just for a second or two, breathe out on a count of four and hold it at the bottom. So let's give it a go. Inhale, three, two, one, hold it, breathe out, four, three, two, one, hold it. Let's go again, inhale. Hold it, breathe out, hold it at the bottom, and one more, this time try and hold it for a count of four if you can, hold it for four, three, two, one, breathe out, on a count of four, three, two, and try and hold it at the bottom, four, three, two, one. Well done, slowly go back to your natural breathing. Just inhale, exhale through your nose. I invite you to set an intention for today's practice to help you guide you through each asana. And when you're ready, blink your eyes open. All right, breathe in and reach your arms up nice and tall. Breathe out, bring your right hand towards the mat, left arm reaches up and over, feeling that lovely stretch across the side body, inhale, both arms up, exhale, take it to the other side. Breathe in, both arms up. Breathe out, right hand behind your right hip, left hand on top of your opposite knee. Breathe in, lift your chest as you breathe out, rotate your body to the back. Look towards the back wall, breathe in, come back, reach your arms overhead and exhale, take it to the other side, inhale and exhale, rotate. Breathe in, come back, center, arms up, exhale, hinge from your hips into your forward fold. Relax your head, relax your neck, your shoulders. slowly roll up through your spine, sit on up. Now, straighten your legs out to the front. I'm going to go diagonal line so you can, you can see the side 
my body. Sit up nice and tall, bend your right knee, interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Now, inhale to straighten your spine and exhale, lift your right foot off the mat. Now breathe in again and stretch your leg out and bend through that right knee once again. Let's go again, inhale, lengthen and exhale, bend. Let's go for two more. And last one, lift up and hold. Try and keep your legs as straight as possible. Flex through that right foot and point. Flex and point. Lift your leg up higher, flex and point. Flex and hold. Can you walk your hands up maybe to your ankle or maybe you can grab your right foot. If you're here, breathe and sit a little bit taller and pull onto your foot. Feel free to use your strap here as well. Wrap it around your foot and pull it like a little bit closer. And slowly release. Let's switch over to the other side. Bending through that left foot. Interlace your fingers around your left thigh. Breathe and sit tall. Breathe out. Lift your left foot off the mat. Let's try and reach those toes up towards the ceiling and release. Let's go again. And two more. Very nice. Last one. Lift up and hold. And now flex your left foot. If you're shaking, that's good. Flex and point. Flex and point. Last one. Flex and hold. Can you walk your hands up? Bring your hands around your ankle or grab your foot, your toes. Use a strap. Breathe and lift your chest and breathe out. Can you pull onto your foot a little bit more? Very nice. And release. Both legs out straight, feet hip distance apart. You can take away flesh from underneath your sitting bones. Feel free to use your straps here as well. Flexing through both feet nicely. Breathe and send your arms overhead. Straighten your spine even more as you breathe in again. This time as you breathe out, hinge from your hips and reach your arms as far forward as you can. Interlace your pinky's fingers around your big toes. If you can't reach your big toes, grab your towel, grab your strap, Breathe in, lift your chest, and as you breathe out, sink your belly towards your thighs. Try and keep your back as straight as possible. Look towards your feet, towards your toes. Do not look down. Try and keep your shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, can you sink a little bit deeper? And one more. Beautiful, and release down. You can cross your legs over, bring your body into a tabletop and from here tuck your toes under, push your hips back as you breathe out, send your hips up into your downward dog. Pedal out your feet, gently rock your hips side to side, whatever you feel your body needs at the minute. And when you're ready, send your right leg up Three leg a dog and send your right foot forwards, right in between your hands, sit in front, drop your back, knee, relax your back toes, breathe in and reach your arms forwards and up into your low lunge and drive the hips forwards, opening through your chest. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale, frame your front foot, pop your hands on your blocks if you need to. As you breathe out, send your hips back, straightening through that front leg. Flex your front foot here. Feel free to soften that right knee, but try and keep it straight if you can. And again, feel free to stay here, but as you can, come up tall and bring your hands behind your head, interlacing your fingers, elbows out wide. Now breathe in, and as you breathe out, hinge from your hips, forward fold, inhale to come back. A little bit more challenging, exhale, inhale. Let's go for two more, try and go a little bit deeper each time. 
and last one. Hold it down, release your hands onto the mat, come back into that low lunge, tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, step back into your plank and let's go through our first vinyasa. And push back, downward facing dog. Let's bring it to the other side, left leg up, three legged dog. Send that left foot forwards, right in between your hands. Drop your back knee, relax your back toes. Low lunge. Arms up and overhead. Exhale, sink your hips a little bit deeper. Look up. Breathe in deep into your chest. Breathe out, frame your front foot. Breathe in again. Exhale, send your hips back. Flex through that left foot. Inhale and exhale. Bring your belly towards your thigh. And feel free to stay here, but as you can, come on up into that tall position. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Inhale, back straight, exhale, hinge forwards. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and one more. And hold it down, release your hands, come back in, low lunge, tuck your back toes under, lift your back knee, vinyasa, plank position, and let's go, breathe in, open through your chest, exhale, push back, downward dog. And when you're ready, breathe in. Reach your right leg up, three-legged dog. Breathe out, send your right foot forwards. Again, right in between your hands, runner's lunge. And breathe in, windmill your arms, come into your warrior two. Sink nice and deep, straighten that back leg, front knee directly above your ankle. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, straighten that front leg, heel to toe your back foot. Inhale, reach that right arm forwards and exhale, Trikonasana, triangle pose. So that bottom hand just gently rests on top of your shin, bottom shin, top shin, your knee. Make sure it's not grabbing, holding on to your leg, so it's just gently Resting there, breathe in, opening through that side body. Can you sink a little bit deeper? Look up towards that left hand. Stack your shoulders, one on top of the other. Breathe in, come back up. From here, heel to toe your back foot again. Now, rotate your body to the front of the mat, bring your left arm forward. As you breathe out, reach your arm forward and let it drop onto the mat outside of your right foot. Feel free to use a block and elevate your hand on the block here. This is the twisted triangle pose. Now make sure straighten both legs as you can. Breathe in and reach that right arm up Look up towards that right hand. Beautiful. Slowly come back with your right hand. Place, frame your front foot. Place both palms on the mat. Back foot is nicely planted. Breathe in, halfway lift. And breathe out. Forward fold. Beautiful. Now bend through that right knee and send your right foot back into your plank pose. And let's go through our vinyasa. And remember, child's pose is always there for you. And feel free to skip any vinyasas along the way, especially if you're an improver practitioner. Again, listen to your body. Take your time. And when you're ready, send your left leg up, 
three like a dog. Send your left foot forwards, right in between your hands, runner's lunge. Beautiful, breathe in, warrior two, arms out, sink into that warrior, nice and deep, front knee directly above your ankle, back leg nice and straight, breathe in, breathe out. Now breathe in, straighten that front leg, heel to toe, your back foot, straighten your spine, breathe in to reach forwards, and you reach as much as you can until you can't reach anymore. And then allow that left hand to lower down in front of your leg, your shin, your knee, your thigh, doesn't matter where you are, breathe in, deep into your side body, breathe out. Can you sink a little bit lower, looking up towards that right hand? Breathe in to come back. And let's try that twisted triangle. So again, heel to toe, your back foot. Again, turn your body towards the top of your mat. Bring that right hand to the front. Breathe in, reach forwards and place it outside your left foot on the mat. This is a very tricky one. So take your time. Now press with all four corners of your feet. Breathe and reach that left arm up. Can you look up? Use your block here if needed. Beautiful, slowly come back, left hand down, framing your front foot, planting your back foot on the mat, breathe and into your flat back, halfway up, exhale, forward fold, into this lovely pyramid pose. And bend through that left knee. Step back into your plank. Vinyasa. And exhale. Push back into your downward dog. Beautiful. Well done. Now feel free to go into your child's pose. We're going to be here for Three more deep breaths. Now breathe in, send your hips up a little bit higher. As you breathe out, can you drive your heels towards the mat? Let's go again. Inhale, send your hips up. And breathe out, send your heels down. One more. And send your heels down. Well done, bend both knees. Look towards the top of your mat, step your right leg forwards, left leg forwards into a forward fold. This time bring your feet hip distance apart. Feel free to keep your knees soft, interlace your peace fingers around your big toes. Now breathe in. And as you breathe out, bring your belly towards your thighs. If you're not there, feel free to bend your knees even more. And just start with a generous bend at your knees. Now drop your head down, ensuring that your belly is close to your thighs. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, pulling gently onto your toes, Straighten your legs, keeping your belly close to your thighs. Bring your elbows out to the sides and try and bring yourself a little bit closer with each in-breath and each out-breath. and straighten your legs fully if you can. And well done. Release your toes and bending through that right foot. Drop your right leg on the mat and come back into that seated position. 
So cross your legs out nicely, pop your hands onto your thighs, onto your knees. Roll your shoulders back and down. Close your eyes or soften your eye gaze. A few shoulder rolls. You can do head circles. And when you're ready, sit nice and tall. Now bring your attention back into your breath. and connect to that intention that you set for yourself at the start of the practice. Now we're going to finish our practice today with a sound of Om, the sound of the universe, of which vibrations can generate this beautiful energy in our bodies, in our mind, so let's breathe in for Om. Om. Bring your head's heart center and bow your head in gratitude. Gratitude for yoga practice. Gratitude for our bodies, allowing us to move and practice yoga. Rub your palms together, create some heat. Place your palms over your eyes and face. Gently take your hands away. Thank you so much guys for joining me on the mat today. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. And if you have any suggestions, any feedback, please leave it in the comments below. I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Keep practicing. Namaste.